Hello everyone, my name is Dan the Tutor. This is a clip from one of my weekly group tutoring sessions at the University of Delaware for Physics 201. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and enjoy. Let's go ahead and talk about forces first. So when it comes to forces, it's first helpful to know that what Newton's three laws are. What are Newton's three laws? So let's deal with the first one first. I am not going to give you the definition and write out like a paragraph long thing. I'm going to tell you what mm, mm, what Newton's laws mean to me. So Newton's first law, you may have heard it before, an object in motion stays in motion and an object at rest stays at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. That is going to be true. And what that means, as far as you're concerned, is that if we have a constant velocity, and it will tell you constant velocity or constant speed in the problem, then that means that our acceleration A is equal to zero and it also means that we have a net force equal to zero and the other thing that's true about newton's first law is that if any of these three are true then the arrows also go in reverse in other words if i have a net force equal to zero in other words all the forces cancel out from the left or the right or the up in the downward direction it means acceleration zero and you have constant velocity if one of these three are true all three are true look out for the word constant velocity in a physics problem it's a huge hint to you okay so newton's second law i mean this is like probably the biggest topic that can show up on the test at least as far as forces are concerned it's f equals ma personally i hate this equation which is why i'm crossing it out right now because it's not nearly specific enough newton's second law really means well the process of solving newton's second law or just force problems in general what am i saying i'm saying free body diagram, which if you remember, that's all the arrows going on your force diagram. Then you want to make a sum of forces equation. I'll say with, I'll write what that is in a second, but sum of forces equation. This is what I mean when I say F net equals MA. Notice how this is different from the equation I have above. I said F net. There's a good reason for that because we're not talking about just one force. We're talking about the combination of all the forces. And the other thing we need to remember is that in physics, you cannot combine the X and the Y axis. In other words, if I have, let's say F net X here, in other words, all the forces to the right minus the forces to the left, that's equal to mass times acceleration. Again, that's the X component. And don't worry, we'll do a couple example problems with this. So it's fine if it doesn't make sense right this second. But these are the two biggest steps, free body diagram first, then sum of forces equation, and then the last thing you would do is solve using algebra for whatever you want to solve for. Solve using algebra. And that's Newton's second law, which, you know, there's a lot to write here, but it's probably the biggest topic in all of forces. And then the third thing that we can talk about is Newton's third law, and that is saying that every force has an equal and opposite reaction force. What does that mean to you? Well, if I have force one on object two, then that means it's going to be equal to and in the opposite direction as force two on object one. Equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. This is Newton's third law. And we'll see some examples of that as well today. Okay, any questions on forces before we get into the example problems? Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want me to start doing free weekly group sessions at your university, please post in the comments below or email me at dan at danthetutor.com. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.